Bonjour, Monsieur G. Et ton chapeau. Ça, c'est très beau, ton chapeau. New York, Paris, London, home. I'm gonna take my hat wherever I go. New York, Paris, London, home. I'm gonna take my hat wherever I go. I'm gonna take my hat wherever I go. Hola amigos! Welcome to Under the Hat. I'm Mr. G. So excited that you can be here with us today. Last week was our first episode ever of Under the Hat, and it was amazing. We had people watching from Africa and Europe, Latin America, and all around the United States, and we've had some really cool press already, and we just found out that the Boston Globe is going to write a feature, including us, on things that children's musicians are doing to go online right now. Today's show is going to be all about animals, and we got a lot of great requests last week. If you want to hear songs, just start letting us know in the comments. Mrs. G is waiting at Mission Control. You let us know what you want to hear. We couldn't get it to them all last week, but this one is a deep track. This song is 10 years old. It's from our first album, which is called Pizza for Breakfast. We've recorded 10 albums. This was on the first one. I bet this song's older than some of you listening out here. It's called Pony with a Problem. I don't think we've ever played it. Now, you need to become a pony. So the first thing you need to do is make a pony sound. <laughs> and now you need to stand up, put your hands over the air, and get ready to jump as high as you can. One, two, three, oh! This song's about a pony with a problem. This song's about a pony with a problem. He doesn't like kids who pull on his mane He doesn't like kids, he thinks they're a pain Oh, this song's about a pony with a problem There's a terrible secret that nobody knows A terrible secret in one of his toes In his back left hoof there's a sharp little splinter It's been driving him crazy It's been there since last winter So he snorts and he stomps And kicks up lots of dust And no one understands Why he makes such a fuss All the songs about a pony With a problem the song's about a pony with a problem He wants to go to Spain, he wants to go to France He wants to sing and dance in his underpants Oh, the song's about a pony with a problem One sunny spring day in the middle of May A field mouse named Marvin was making his way He wore black plastic glasses To help him to see When he saw a splinter He thought it was cheese He ate splinter cheese He ate it with glee And our friend the pony Was finally free Oh, now the song's about a pony Without a problem This song's about a pony With no problems He loves when kids shout And pull on his mane He says that was fun Let's do it again Say yeah, this song's about a pony Without a problem Yeah, this song's about a pony With no problem Pony with no problem My pony's got no problems Oh yeah My pony's got no problems No problems Oh yeah Well, this song's about a pony Without a problem Thank you so much. Good job galloping down the road. All right, you guys. We are now going to check in with Mrs. G. Make some noise. Say hi to Mrs. G.
You got to make more noise. There she is. <laughs> Hey guys, happy Passover, happy Easter. We're so excited to be here with you. And uh, last week we had people checking in from Botswana, from Spain, from Canada. So please let us know where you're writing in from. We love uh, touching in with our fans and friends from all over the world. And also let us know what songs you'd like to hear, any songs from the Mr. G catalog, and we'll pass those along to Mr. G. And also, tell us what you're doing to stay creative and happy at home. All your great ideas for uh, what you're doing to stay engaged. All right, we have got some more songs coming up and I'll be checking in later on. Um, but uh, keep those comments coming. I'll be responding to them throughout the entire show. All right, you guys, I wanted to introduce you to one of my favorite guitars. Isn't that beautiful? It's called a National Steel, and this guitar is probably heavier than some of you are. You'll never see me bring it out to the shows because it's so heavy, and when we're flying all around the world, well, before, you know, when we used to be able to travel around the world, uh, this guitar is just too heavy, but it's so cool, and so I usually use it for stuff like this. This is a slide on my finger. It's this piece of metal. It makes a cool sound like this. So I'll use it for that. I'll use it for bluesy finger style stuff like this. That kind of thing. But someone dared me. They said, can you play Siete Elefantes on the steel guitar? I said, I never tried, but we'll try it right now. So if you don't know the song, Siete Elefantes is from our album Los Animales. And on this song, we're going to learn how to count all the way up to seven in Espanol. So when I put up one finger, you say uno. When I put up two, you say dos. When I put up three, you say tres. Four, you say cuatro. Five, you say cinco. Six, six, you say six, and seven, siete. Okay, listos, are you ready? You need to become first an elefante. If you can tell me what type of animal is an elefante, tell Mrs. G right now. And also, if you know what type of animal is a mariposa. We're also going to have some mariposas in this song. Let Mrs. G know. And I have to warn you, on this song, there are some ferocious leones. So if you know what kind of animal a leon is, let her know. All right, get your fingers ready. We're counting all the way up to siete in Espanol. Un elefante, dos elefantes, tres elefantes, cuatro elefantes, cinco elefantes, seis elefantes, siete elefantes es bastante. Una mariposa, dos mariposas, tres mariposas, cuatro mariposas, cinco mariposas, seis mariposas, siete mariposas son hermosas. No matter where I go, guess what I see? So many animals staring back at me. I try to count them all as they stomp and swim and fly. Some are big and bold, and some are pretty shy. Leones, cuatro leones, cinco leones, seis leones, siete leones con tostones. Un cocodrilo, dos cocodrilos, tres cocodrilos, cuatro cocodrilos, cinco cocodrilos, seis cocodrilos, siete cocodrilos son. <laughs> Siete cocodrilos, that's a lot of crocodiles. All right. So you guys, we are, like all of you, cooped up at home. I know I've been doing a lot of new things that I don't typically have time for when we're traveling. I just learned how to bake bread, so I'm pretty excited about that. Mrs. G said it turned out well. And all sorts of things in the kitchen. I've been out uh, raking leaves and getting the house cleaned up for spring. We're so rarely here this time of year so trying to make the best of it and we've been connecting with friends and family all over the country all over the world and we came up with this idea so since we're all stuck at home we're wondering what people are doing to have fun to keep learning to be inspired and we're calling this 
segment of the show, Cooped Up and Creative. Cooped Up and Creative. Cooped Up and Creative. We all may be cooped up, but we're creative, yeah. So today we have all the way from Arizona our friend Columba and her family. Bienvenidos. Hi. Hi. ¿Cómo están? We've been making tortillas. You guys have been making tortillas. What else? That's amazing. I'd love to learn how to make tortillas. Did you say you've been making cookies? I'm washing my hands. Or oh, washing your hands. That's what I like to hear. We, I've been washing my hands a lot, too. Outsta because of Beatles. Yeah. Have you guys been doing any reading or doing some work in school? Are you reading, Columba? Um, no, but we were reading Senorita Mariposa. You were reading Senorita Mariposa. You guys are the best. If you're just tuning in, that's our debut children's book, Senorita Mariposa. You guys just made my day. I also love the shirts you're wearing. One says Eco Niños, and the other says Mom's Clean Air Force. And those are both amazing environmental groups that we partner with. So you guys, is it a hot day in Arizona? Yes, um, it's been a little bit hot. Yeah. How are these days? But yes. you're staying inside most of the time now, huh? We're staying inside, yes. Most of our activities have been um, indoors. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for reading, Senorita Mariposa. And tell me how, can you tell us, teach us a little how you make tortillas? Uh, yes, of course. So uh, we use uh, masa, masa, uh, water, <laughs> water, and salt. Yeah. And we mix it all together. Beautiful. <laughs> and we put it in the oven. And then you put yep. it in the oven? That's awesome. Like I said, you know, that's funny. Next time I'm in Arizona and we get together, I'm going to have to come over for a tortilla lesson because I've just been making, that would be fantastic. Oh, you guys are the best. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. <laughs> Adios. Nos vemos pronto. Okay. Fantastic. Those guys <laughs> are making the best of it. All right. So one thing we've been doing is getting outside every day for a hike. You know, Josie needs to go for a walk, and I love to take her. So we had an adventure this week to an amazing place. It's just around the corner from my house. Check this out. Just over the hill from my house, I've got some wonderful neighbors, and today we're going to meet them. I'm talking about the Grass Hill alpacas. Come on. Cindy Lou. <laughs> Hi. Let me introduce you to my two good friends. This is Cindy Lou, and this is Sophie. They're both so gorgeous, so soft, but you don't want to get on their bad side. If they get irritated, they'll spit at you. So I'm trying to be nice, make friends, and not get spat on. So far, so good. People often confuse alpacas with llamas, but they actually serve very different purposes. Llamas were more work animals, and alpacas were bred for their fiber. They're incredibly soft. <laughs> Do these guys remind you of another animal? And I'm not talking about llamas. Alpacas are part of the camelid family, so they're related genetically to camels but alpacas are from Peru in South America. Alpacas like to eat grain and hay, but they love green grass. And finally, now that it's April, we're getting a little bit of green grass here in New England. The other thing is, alpacas need to get their nails trimmed just like a dog, but 
From what I hear, they're quite easy to care for, so if you're thinking about a pet, this could be a good choice. I'm making good friends with Cindy Lou here. She just gave me a kiss. Isn't she great? <laughs> what a beauty. When alpacas are born, they weigh 17 pounds. That's a big baby. When they're full grown, the males and the females tend to be about the same size, between 150 and 170 pounds. That's about my size, so next time you look at me, you can think he's about the size of an alpaca. This alpaca needs braces, I'm told, because she's got a big underbite. See that? Now, what's, this is fascinating. Alpaca's teeth, they're just on the bottom. You can see them. On top, they just have a hard palate. My friend Sophie just had her seventh birthday. Are any of you seven years old? Alpacas will live about 20 years, so Sophie's just getting started. Alpacas like to have their necks rubbed, not the top of their heads. If you rub the top of the head of an alpaca, you might get spat on. So you're much better off just giving them some nice pats on their neck or under their chin. Once a year, these guys get a major haircut. It's called being shorn. Every year, an alpaca grows five or six inches of fleece. And in May, here in Massachusetts, that all comes off, except up on top. There they just get a little trim, which is why alpacas have these funky hairstyles. During the middle of the day, the alpacas like to come in here and get out of the sun. You can imagine how hot it is if you're walking around with five or six extra inches of fleece. This is the dining room table. For alpacas, it's a feast. Fresh hay and cold water. It's the perfect lunch. You know I'm always on the lookout for interesting sounds in nature, I think I've got a new favorite one, which is a bunch of alpacas eating their hay at lunchtime. It's a great chewing sound. Alpaca fleece is the warmest fiber that there is. It feels amazing to put my hands into a big basket of it on a cold spring day. This curly part is called crimp, and it's a distinctive element to alpaca fleece. This is what the fleece looks like right after the alpacas are shorn. Then it gets sent to a plant where they process it and turn it into all sorts of things, like this survival sock, highly recommended if you live in New England. And then, to take it over the top, an alpaca boot liner. If you have a survival sock, and an alpaca boot liner on, you have a chance of getting through the New England winter. Aren't those guys amazing? Well, I'll tell you one thing. After I spent all that time with Sophie, and the rest of the alpacas, I wash my hands a lot, even more than I usually do these days. Have you guys been washing your hands for at least 20 seconds? I hope so. Well, one thing what we tried to do the other day is come up with a catchy tune that would make it funky and fun to wash your hands. So we came up with this, and we are going to crowdsource a music video for this song. So check it out. And then after the show, you can go to mrg.tv and log on and then see how you can send some hand washing footage to us, singing along, making it funky like we do in the video, and then you can be part of our music video. Check this out.
Everywhere across the land, we're all together washing our hands. Everywhere across the land, we're all together washing our hands. Turn on the water, scrub on the soap, dance around in circles, do the rubber. Hey everybody, Mr. G here from my recording studio where I've been cooped up for the last few weeks. I've been writing a lot of new songs and I came up with this one called Washing Your Hands. I know I've been washing mine a lot, I hope you have been too. And I started it here by myself in the studio, playing a lot of guitars, I was clapping, I was singing, but I was feeling a little lonely. So I got online and got onto Zoom and connected with my friend Jose. And he added some cool bass and keyboards, then I called up my friend William and he added ring stick and vocals, he got his amazing kids singing on it. And now it's really starting to come together, but I need some help. I need you guys now, because we're gonna make a music video together. So here's the thing, you need to go to mrg.tv. When you go there, you can listen to the song, you can download it, there's a version in English and a version in Spanish. The lyrics are there, and some instructions of how you can be part of our music video. So check it out at mrg.tv, send us your hand washing clips, and then we'll release a video that we all worked on together to the wide world. Washing our hands everywhere across the land. We're all together washing our hands. That's right. All right, you guys. So that gets you in the groove, and some families have already been sending in amazing footage. So here's an example. Shout out to Isabel and Theo. Everywhere across the land, we're all together washing our hands. Everywhere across the land, we're all together washing our hands. Everywhere across the land, we're all together washing our hands. Everywhere across the land, we're all together washing our hands. Yeah, all right, so that's the spirit. Now, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite people, one of my favorite musicians. Put your hands together for William Johnson and his kids down in North Carolina. What's up, William? Hey, everybody. How are you doing? Great I'm hanging to... out with one of my kids, Layla. Hey, Layla. Hi. So you guys will recognize William and Layla, the stars of the video you just saw. And, you know, when I started working on this song, of course, I thought of you, William. And it's always great to play with you in real time. But, man, it's cool that we have this technology and that we can collaborate together right now. Amazing, isn't it? Totally. So, you know, of course, I, as I said in the video, I started playing the song and writing it by myself and was feeling a little lonely and thought of you. And I knew you'd have some ideas for water sounds. And I Amazing world of percussion. I wanted you to just share a little bit about how you thought about what to add for the song when you heard it. Well, you have to give Mr. G some credit too, because he also said, I think a rain stick would be really cool. <laughs> and I happen to have a few rain sticks and a bunch of instruments that sounded like water. And it seemed appropriate to have water sounds with percussion in the song. So the first thing I did was reach for one of my favorite rain sticks and that's this instrument right here this instrument is all the way from guatemala and it sounds like this oh it's awesome <laughs> it's beautiful yeah thank you it also i don't know if you can see it on the camera but it also has the actual coins from the country inside of I guess this is like pottery that was customized onto the rain stick. So so cool. I just love this instrument. Oh, it's great. Yeah. So that's. And I also you. Go yeah, ahead. Tell us more. Tell us more. What else did you use on the song when you were recording? Well, you know, sometimes when you're washing your hands, it's not always the gushing water of the water fountain. Sometimes it's the ambiance of the little water drops coming off of your fingertips. Mm -hmm. So I love these instruments here from Nigeria. They're actually seeds from an ide tree. And if you just tinkle them like this, 
It almost sounds like water rolling off of a palm tree or oh, something. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Now, Layla, you yeah. did some incredible singing on it. You want to tell us yeah. how you what, what you did in the studio? Because that really took it over the top. Well, um, my dad told me when to um, start singing. Yeah. Brother, and we just started doing it, and it was fun. It was they so just fun. started doing it, right? <laughs> they just picked the note, the pitch, and just boom. They're superstars. <laughs> They're superstars. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, that was so great to have you guys on the track. Thank you so much for being part of it. It just... It's just amazing to be able to collaborate anytime, but particularly these days when we're kind of in our own our own home. So it's extra special to work with you guys right now. Yeah, well, it was a pleasure. It's always a pleasure being with Mr. G. Right back at you, William. And everybody needs to know that William Johnson here has a super cool new YouTube channel. Tell them about that, William. I started a children's music education channel called Mr. Will's Music World. And so this is kind of my music world, my studio here in North Carolina. I have about 200 some odd instruments in here. Um, so a lot of the shows are in here, but some I, some shows I go in and interview other musicians and then we basically highlight instruments and musicians from around the world and talk about the history, what they sound like. Mm. So it's just a cool exploration of music from around the world. I love it. Well, I've checked it out and it's amazing. So everybody needs to... Check out Mr. Will here. And, you know, I'm also glad that you mentioned that you've got 200 instruments because Mrs. G has been known to tell me that I have too many guitars. But oh, now that I know oh. you've got 200 instruments, I think I'm going to get a few more guitars for the collection. Dude, there you go. There you Thanks go. Thanks for that, man. That's great. Yeah. All right, you guys. I, stay I, safe in North Carolina. We'll see you soon. You got it. Love you. All, right, right. All right. So uh, we do need to check in with Mrs. G and see what she has to say about the fact that um, William has 200 instruments. Mrs. G? <laughs> wow, that, that does put things in perspective, Mr. G. But um, yeah, if, if anyone could um, you know, check out our basement, I think they'd probably um, sympathize with my situation with hey, a, lot, a lot of guitars. Yeah, well, there are more coming. Hey, <laughs> check it. Why don't you introduce everyone to someone who's making an appearance, a camera? Yeah, so I forgot the first time around, I forgot to introduce Chloe. This is Chloe Bird's Moo. This is our cat. And uh, she's been with us for about 12 or 13 years now. And she's an integral part of our household. And also, um, very important for Mr. G because she hangs out in his studio while he's making music. She sits curled up in a chair and uh, brings a lot of her own cat magic. So <laughs> say hi to Chloe. And most people don't know about Chloe. They know a lot about Josie yep. because they've met Josie in our videos, but they don't know as much about Chloe. She's a little more private. But uh, she did decide to show up today, and hopefully in our uh, upcoming episodes, she'll be here as well. So thank you guys so much for your comments. Um, I've been having a ton of fun responding to them. Just to let you know, we've got people here today from Poland and Spain and all over the US, California, Florida, Maryland, Boston, New York. So hello to everybody. Thank you for joining us. Lots of folks uh, chiming in that they've been to our live concerts and are happy to be seeing us online too. Um, in terms of the, uh, the animals that our fans are enjoying, uh, dogs and cats, definitely. Um, but also people love the alpacas in the episode. Um, so they love the alpaca segment. Some people have met alpacas themselves. And um, Gabriel from Amherst um, says his favorite animals, his kids' favorite animals are the fennec fox and the meerkat, which is pretty awesome. Um, and as a side note, Gabriel's kids, Isabel and Theo, were the ones in the video, the hand-washing video, and they were watching themselves on the show today, so they actually got to see themselves featured, which is pretty awesome. Um, we've got a lot of song requests. We're not gonna be able to get to all of them, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna read them out, and then Mr. G can choose which ones he, he, can, he thinks he can take on today. Um, Patas en el aire, patas en el aire, put your paws in the air. Matzah on my mind for Passover. That's a special one. Uh, grilled cheese, which is a deep track that goes way back to uh, the Pizza for Breakfast album. And Mundo Verde, which is an amazing song, Green World, about our, our beautiful green world. And Agua, the water song, because we William played the water, the rain sticks. So 
he was uh, somebody was hoping for that one as well. So lots of different possibilities. Let's see which ones Mr. G wants to uh, play for us today. Thanks, guys. See you next All week. All right, everybody. Thank you so much, Mrs. G. Wow, those are some great requests. Mott's on my mind for what's well, passed over. I'll take a shot at a little bit of that one. I haven't played that one probably since the album came out. That one is called, that album is called The Mitzvah Bus. All right, so this is for all the matzah lovers in the house. See how it goes. I don't want sourdough wheat or white. Get that bagel out of my sight. Just flour and water with a roasted, it's divine. Yes, I gotta say, I got matzah on my mind. I got matzah on my mind. Matzah on my mind and it sure feels fine. Matzah on my mind. Matzah on my mind. Most of the time I got matzah. I got matzah. I got matzah on my mind. Come on now. Happy Pesach, everybody. Sing it now. We got matzo on our minds. Matzo on my mind and it sure feels fine. Matzo on our mind. Matzo on my mind all of the time. That's a, that's a shot of it. If I tried to go any further, it, it would have gone off the rails. But uh, there you go. Happy Passover. Happy Easter. All right. Some of those requests. Well, let's do patas in el aire. Everybody put your paws in the air. This is a song about being out in the forest and partying with all the animals. So Josie every day is out in the woods with osos negros, with black bears, with the conejos, with the bunnies, the venados, the deer. And right now, you need to put your patas in el aire, put your paws in the air, and everybody bark like a dog. Excellent. Everybody howl like a wolf. And now everybody get ready to jump. Uno, dos, tres, go! Send this one out to Tamberly, who's writing in from Texas. Patas en el aire. Patas en el aire. Saltando en el bosque. Con tus patas en el aire. I live in the woods with the black bears. We share the same water. We share the same air with the deer and the rabbit, the fox and the birds. It's a beautiful life. It's a beautiful world, patas en el aire, patas en el aire, saltando en el bosque, con tus patas en el aire. Put your paws in the air, put your paws on the ground, jump up, touch the sky. Now turn around, put your paws in the air, your paws on the ground. Shout out loud, make a joyful sound. Patas in the light, patas in the light, saltando en el bosque, con tus patas en el aire. Vivo en el bosque con los osos negros. Ellos son mis amigos, ellos son mis maestros. Me enseñan a vivir en armonía con la luna, en armonía con el sol y la naturaleza. Patas en el aire, patas en el suelo, con todos tus amigos y las manos hacia el cielo. Patas en la vía, patas en el día, patas de amor, patas de alegría. Patas en el aire y la noche, patas en el aire, saltando en el bosque, con tus patas en el aire. Well, I live in the woods with the black bears. We share the same water, we share the same air with the deer and the rabbit, the fox and the birds. It's a beautiful life. 
It's a beautiful world. Let me see your patas. Aplauso. Give yourselves a hand. That was awesome. All right. Well, let's do the song Agua, since we've been all washing our hands a lot. All right. So we're thinking about Agua. We're thinking about water, how grateful we are for water, how we depend on it always, but now more than ever, maybe. And you know, the world is covered, most of it, over two-thirds by water. It's pretty amazing. Our bodies are made up of water. So right now, you need to put your hands over your head and get ready to clap. Uno, dos, tres, go! My body's mostly made of you. Sometimes you're green, sometimes you're blue. Freezing cold, your ice, but it hot, your steam. When I'm dirty, you make me clean. Ooh, agua. Ooh, agua. Mi cuerpo está compuesto de ti. Cuando tengo sed, me haces feliz. Los ríos, la nube, la lluvia, el mar Pienso en ti cuando quiero cantar Uh, agua Uh, agua Oh, agua Oh, agua Nuestro mundo tan bonito Canten conmigo, niños All of us depend on you Every cat and dog and kangaroo Dependemos de ti cada día Gracias a ti por nuestra vida Uh, agua Uh, agua Help me sing it now And oh, agua Gracias, amigos. Thank you so much. It's been wonderful being here with you today. Thank you for being here with us from all over the world. We'll be right back with you next Saturday, 12 o'clock East Coast, 9 on the West Coast, and a little later in Africa and Europe. All right. Talk to you soon. Gracias. Hasta pronto.